वेलकम टू योगा विथ मी संगीता पोरवाल हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग गुड वील जस्ट स्ट्रेट अवे गो टू अवर बिगिन अवर प्रैक्टिस एंड बिफोर दैट द प्रॉप फॉर टूडे इज वार्म अप इज टू हाफ लीटर वाटर बॉटल्स इफ यू आर नॉट रेडी विथ इट एंड वॉन्ट टू गेट इट quickly go and grab one till we do the jogging and even if you do not have it's all right we can do even without it okay so let's begin right away on your mats jogging a little warm up you may not be very fast in the beginning begin slow go forward and back nice deep breaths Wow. Welcome the beautiful day, beautiful sunny morning. At your pace, slow or fast, you choose. Bring your knees up, pointing the toes down. If you wish to lift your knees higher, your choice. You can do it. I would recommend go a little slow. and then bend up nice deep breathing this little jog helps in activating the blood flow in the entire body you can feel the energy flowing from bottom to up nice deep breaths forward and back If you have space at the sides, you could do a little side pose. Come back to the center, forward, back, forward. Try throwing your feet forward. Something like this. Come back to the jog. Last few rounds. Deep breath. Feel the blood rushing. Feel the heart throbbing a little faster. Just the last few rounds a little faster. Slow down. Slow down. Take your time. Slow down. Catch up a breath here. Hold your elbows. Inhaling up. Very gentle inhalation. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Nice and gentle inhalation. Exhale. You're simply bringing a breath to normal. No pressure on the body. One last. Relax. Relax. Feel the energy. We do few warm ups, and the prop for today is this half a liter water bottle. If you have it, good. If you do not have it, still you can do. all that i'm doing make a fist of your hand with your thumb in nicely tight yes so this fist is your prop if you do not have the water bottle but you can do all the practices that i am going to do now so let's begin your feet hip width apart now wh- why do we use the props these props help us in getting deeper into the practice uh for these bottles today 
They help in building up the strength in the arms and the shoulders and also toning them. You can build up as per your body. Uh, you can choose one liter water bottle if you are fine with it. Otherwise, a half a liter to begin with is good. So we begin. Keep your hands facing forward. Breathing in. One. Breathing in up two. Breathing in up three. Breathing in up four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hand rotation. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nice deep breath. Six. Seven. Eight. Relax. The left hand. One. Two. Those without the prop. Make a fist. Nice and tight. And do the movements. Seven. Eight. The other side. From the back to front. One. Two. Uh, rotate your hands. Three. This way. Open it to the back. And forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. From the back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. We'll do the traditional Tadasana with these. Feet hip width apart. Lift your toes. Spread your toes. Press them down. Both the sides. Press your heels down. Weight equally distributed on the toes. Lock your knees. Roll the thighs in. Uh, tighten up your core. Squeeze your hips. Roll your shoulders. Open up your shoulders. And hands to the sides. Okay, breathing in, go on your toes, exhaling, down, breathing in up two, on your toes, exhale, breathing in up three, on your toes, exhale, breathing up four, exhale, breathing up five, nice and high. Exhale from the sides. Six. Breathing in up. Seven. We hold here for a few counts. Sorry, my base is a little soft. Stay here on your toes. Hold for a few breaths. Come down. And one last. Breathing in up. Eight on your toes. Hold for a few breaths. Relax. Sideways stretches. For the sideways, we'll keep one bottle down and use only one. Spread your feet. Two feet apart. Begin with the right side. Breathing in up. Exhaling, go to the sides. Leave this hand loose and give a good stretch to this hand. Come back. Breathing in up. Exhale. Up. Three. Exhale. Let it be a nice sideways stretch. Don't let the chest fall. Come back. Breathing in up. Four. back. Five. Come back. Six. 
come back. The last. Stay here, hold here for a few breaths. Come back. We do this from the right as well. Breathing in up and exhaling go down to the sides. Breathing in back. Relax. One last in the set. Take your right leg forward. Your left is at the back. Both are in front. Stretch your hands out. Breathe in, open up and you come back on your knees. Exhale, back. Two. Three. Open up your chest and on your knees. Four. Five. You can choose to keep your hands or the other way also. Uh, folded at the elbows. Choose what is what suits you. Seven. Eight. Hold here for a few seconds. Nice and wide. Chest open. Hands to the sides. Inhale back. Exhale. Relax. The right leg comes back. The left goes in front. Hands in front. Inhale, go down on the knees, open up your hands, open the chest, exhale, inhale up two, exhale, inhale up three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Friends, that was with the warm-ups. This really, really strengthens your shoulders and your uh, these, uh, muscles over here. Uh, we'll just do simple joint movements for the neck and the shoulders. Begin with the shoulders first. Give a gentle rotation. It will ease all the pressure. Reverse. Back to front. Relax. My favorite. Let the elbows meet. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale. Simple few rounds. The other side. Last in the sequence, take the right hand on the left, sorry, the left hand on the right shoulder. Hold the elbow, pull it down, pull it down. Simply giving a good stretch to the sides. Hold. Come back. Right hand on the left shoulder. Hold the elbow, pull it down. Simply stretching the sides. Come back. For the fingers, stretch the hands out. Expand your fingers, tighten it. Stretch, tight, stretch, tight. This is most important. We are glued on the TV or the laptop and our mobile. Gives a wonderful stretch to the fingers. Relax. That's it. So friends, that was for the warm-ups. Now for the asanas. I hope you're all spreading either a mat, yoga mat, and if you do not have a folded blanket with a uh, bed sheet on it, 
do not spread only a bed sheet because it's too thin and then most of the time you are uh, trying to hold the sheet so if you do not have a yoga mat uh, fold a blanket and spread it and spread a cotton sheet on that that will work now we begin with the cat and cow uh, feet below hips hands below shoulders uh, keep a little distance in the knees spread your palm nice and wide inhale neck out hips out exhale inhale and come up your neck out hips out press the back down or uh, push the tummy to the floor does wonders for the back exhale nice reverse arch inhale once more exhale inhale forward come back to normal gently lift the left leg and when you are ready lift the right hand up give a good stretch try to stretch your hand forward and the leg behind and stay here hold here come back the other side stretch the right leg out and line to your back and when you're ready raise the left hand give a stretch come back Give a round of cat and cow. Inhale, exhale. Push the back up. Inhale, press the back down. Inhale, push the back up. Relax. We will do the camel pose. I think the heat is building up. Okay, for the camel pose, stand on your toes like this. If you have knee problem, uh, keep a folded uh, blanket or a towel below the knees. Stand straight. Uh, you can even uh, lift up your toes, anchor your toes. Breathing in. Both of your hands go up. And exhaling the left. Try to hold your heel with the right. Hold the heel. Push the back forward and drop your neck. Stay here for a few seconds. Try to push your back forward. When you want to come back, lift your neck. Then the body and down. We'll do this once again. When you're up in the asan, try to push your back forward. Try to give as much arch, arch as you can to the back. Works wonders for the thyroid gland. Stand on your knees. Breathing in, both the hands go up. And exhaling with the left, hold the left heel, right, hold the laha right heel. Push the body forward and drop your neck. When you want to come back. Bring the neck out first and then the hands. You can relax. We do a little relaxation in the child pose. Your heels are together. Open up the knees and gently go down.
come back. When you're practicing yoga, it's good to take such breaks in between which relax your body. And when you do that, you do not injure your uh, joints or you, do, you avoid injuries when you take these breaks. So whenever you feel you need a little break, you take a, it can be a child pose, shavasan, uh, all these, or makarasan, uh, I'll show that to you. And these uh, help you in taking those small breaks between your asana practice. Okay, so move to the other. Come back to the cat. Inhale. Curl your feet. And from here we go to the downward dog. Exhaling. Come up. This is a nice inverted V. The hips are pointed upwards. Try to bring your body towards your feet. You can walk your feet a little. Try to touch your heels to the floor. If it is difficult, it's alright. But the ultimate position, trying to touch your heels to the floor. Let us do a little walk the dog. Breathing in. Come into the asana. Back, back. Stay here. This does wonders for your brain as the blood is rushed to the brain. We'll hold here for a few seconds. Your feet and hands. One straight line. The left knee on the floor. The left toe on the floor. Hold your breath and stay here for a few seconds. And from here we go into the pigeon pose. How do you do it? Curl your feet at the back. Lift the knees. Place your hands on the floor. Lift the right leg up and place it in front. So your feet, nice one straight line. Just hold your feet and place it in front. You are facing in front. Hands to the sides. Now try to breathe in and reach up. Opening your chest. For a few breaths. Bring your neck straight. Inhale. And exhaling, go down. Inhale up. Open up your chest. Do it from the other side. Curl your feet. Lift up. Go back to downward dog. Bring the left leg forward in Ashwasanchadan. If it's difficult, just walk your feet forward right up to your hands. So your right knee is on the floor, the toe is on the floor. Stay here nice and high. Feel the stretch here at your inner thigh muscles. Okay, so from here we go into the pigeon pose. Curl your toe, lift your knee up. Both the feet nice, one straight line. Both the hands placed in front. And inhaling, try to come up. Open up your chest. The pigeon pose. In yoga, 
All the asanas are inspired by nature. Try to imagine a pigeon. Stay here for a few breaths. You can gently keep your neck there. Come back. Inhale. And exhaling down. Try to reach a little higher. Go back to the downward dog. Curl your feet. Lift the knee up, body up and back. Back on your knees. Uh, bring your toes together. Open up your knees. This was with our asana practice today. We'll take a short break in the child pose before we do the pranayam. Open up your feet. Walk your hands forward and go down. You can even keep a cushion here to take a good rest. Walk your hands back. There you go. Friends, that was with the asana practice. Before we do the prana, I'd just like to talk a little about mudras. Every day when we meditate, we are sitting in the Jnana Mudra, Jnana Mudra, like this. Now, what are these mudras? Each finger represents one of the five elements that we are, or the universe is made of. These mudras could be by the hand gesture or even by the body. They help in cleansing any of the nadis or cleansing any blockage in the body. I'll keep it very simple. So today we'll talk about the Vayu Mudra. Each finger represents one element. The Vayu or the air is represented by your index finger. After your meals, try sitting in Vajrasana. Uh, the only asana that you can do after having meals. This asana helps in digesting the food. As you can see, the blood, is, the blood flow is blocked. Trying to see that the entire blood flow is at the abdomen to help digestion. When you sit in Vajrasana, you can sit with Vayu Mudra. And how do you put the Vayu Mudra? Your index finger is down, pressed by your thumb. Index finger down, pressed by your thumb. So you can sit in Vayu Mudra. This helps in releasing any gas from your stomach or the intestine. So when you are sitting in Vajrasana after your meals, sit in Vayu Mudra to have more benefits. I'll keep this Mudra very simple and every day we'll talk about one. So that will help you to bring them into your practice. Vayu Mudra, index finger represents the air element of the body. So this Mudra 
regulates the air animal. It helps a lot of other things, the joint, joint pains and all that. But I'll keep it very simple. So remember, Vajrasana after your meals, Vayu Mudra helps in easing any gas from the body. Relax. Okay. Now, for the prana, you can choose your comfortable position. Padmasan, Padmasan, Vajrasan, or a chair, whatever suits you. Always, always, always begin with Kapalbhati Shuddhi Kriya. We do 50 strokes, but you can build up on the number of strokes that you do it. Only exhalation, passive inhalation, as you exhale, pull the tummy in. We'll do 25 and 25, 50. Back nice and straight, hands on your knees, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale. Another 25. You're a heart patient. Your exhalation should be very gentle. Okay, now we do Hastika Prana. Hastika is inhale as well as exhale. Today we we'll use our hands and shoulders for Hastika. How do you do it? Inhaling. Simple. 10 rounds of this. Hastika Prana. It's an inhalation and an exhalation. Then together. Short breaths. Gently getting deeper. You can feel that your breath is more clear, more deep after Kapal Bhati and Vasika powerful pranayams. Okay. And the next pranayam is Anulom Vilo, balancing both the nadis, the Surya Nadi for the heat and Chandra Nadi for the cool effect, trying to bring a balance in both the nadis. Back is nice and straight, your shoulders are relaxed, right hand, mudra for Anulom Vilo, your thumb and index finger out, uh, middle finger and, uh, sorry, the thumb and the ring finger out, index and middle down. This way. You can even use both the hands, but this is the mudra suggested in you. Your left hand can be on Dhyana Mudra because we are trying to bring in a calming effect to the mind, to the brain. Two rounds with me and three rounds on your own. Gently close the right nostril. Inhale from the left. Close left. Exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Inhale left. Close left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close right. Exhale left. Three rounds on your own at your own.
complete your cycle by exhaling from the left. You can keep your eyes closed. Both the hands in Dhyana Mudra placed on your knees. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your breath nice and deep but very very gentle. Consciously, try and breathe deep and exhale a little deeper. If you are inhaling four counts, try and inhale five and try to exhale eight counts. By exhaling more, you are trying to create more space for the next breath when it goes in. With your eyes closed, try to bring your attention to yourself. Every breath that goes in, try and connect with yourself. Use this time to contemplate, entertain. how your life should be from here. Use this time to be with yourself. Let that gentle smile be on your face. Let this moment be used to thank God. For all that we are blessed with. I'll leave you alone for a few seconds to be with yourself. position. Recite any prayer that you believe in. Gently bow down to the God within. Nicely rub your hands. Your hands, face. Friends, so this was with today's session. Do share your comments, your experiences in the comment section. That will help me uh, to build up the practice. And uh, we meet again tomorrow. And the prop for tomorrow is the yoga belt or any cotton dupatta, uh, which is thin enough to hold. So, see you tomorrow at 8. Have a good day. Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you.